Now let's look at Cauchy's homogeneous linear differential equations of order n. Now uh, till now what we have seen is a linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Right? Now in case of uh, Cauchy's homogeneous uh, LDEs, what we will have is a variable coefficient. Right? So a linear differential equation of the form x to the power of n d n y by d x n plus a 1 x to the power of n minus 1 d n minus 1 y by d x n minus 1 plus a 2 x n minus 2 d n minus 2 y by d x n minus 2 and so on now see this this will keep reducing right till it disappears uh, and this uh, will keep reducing till it becomes a zero so that means these two will disappear and you will be left with a n y is equal to f of x yes so here this is the variable coefficient so here a1 a2 a3 are the constant coefficients and xs are the variable coefficients okay and basically this form of the uh, differential equation is called a cauchy's homogeneous differential equation okay uh, we know how to solve ldes with constant coefficients so which we basically uh, which basically uh, means that to be able to solve this we have to get rid of of the excess that is x to the power of n, x to the power of n minus 1, x to the power of n minus 2 and so on. Okay. Now let me write that same uh, equation using D notation. So we have x n D n plus a1 x n minus 1 d n minus 1 plus this is a1 a2 n not n x n minus 2 d n minus 2 and so on till a n y is equal to f of x now here we have to do something by which this x is disappear let's substitute x with e to the power of z yes that is this can also be written as z is equal to log e of x okay so dz by dx would be 1 by x okay and we have dy by dx this d's capital d's represent dy by dx now let's write it in terms of dz by dx so dy dx so dz dz so dy by dx can be written as dy by dz times 1 by x because this is 1 by x or we can write it as dy by dx is equal to 1 by x dy by dz or in d notation we can write it as d is equal to so this is d and this is d1 let's say d1 by x or we can say d1 is equal to dx okay so basically by doing this we have got rid of dx or rather x we have got rid of because instead of d we have d1 okay so now let's 
look at the next level that is d square y by d x square this can be written as d by dx of dy by dx now d of dx d by dx of dy by dx dy by dx is what 1 by x dy by dz now let's apply the product rule minus 1 by x square dy by dz plus 1 by x as it is d square y by dz square times dz by dx now again this is 1 by x so minus 1 by x square dy by dz plus 1 by x square d square y by dz square okay let's take out 1 by x square so d square y by dz square minus dy by dz in denotation we have 1 by x square d square d1 square this is dy by dz so d1 square minus d1 and this on this side what do we have we have d square y by dx square so which means this is d square now we can take the x square to this side okay so we end up with x square d square is equal to d1 is common so d1 minus 1 yes okay so we have got the second derivative with the x square okay let's do one more level d cube y by dx cube now this would be d by dx of d square y by dx square yes okay d by dx of d square y by dx square is what d square y by dz square minus dy by dz and 1 by x square okay now let's uh, split it up d by dx of 1 by x square d square y by dz square minus d by dx of 1 by x square uh, dy by dz yes now let's differentiate uh, minus 2 by x cube d square y by dz square plus 1 by x square as it is d3y by dz cube and then dz by dx okay minus uh, here again minus 2 by x cube dy by dz plus 1 by x square as it is d square y by dz square dz by dx okay now x square x square x cube okay so let's do one more step minus 2 by x cube let's write it in terms of d1 so d1 square plus this is 1 by x yes so 1 by x cube d1 cube minus into minus plus 2 by x cube d1 plus no minus d1 square 1 by again this is 1 by x so x cube okay x cubes is common to all so let's take it out x cube let's write in the proper order so let's write it as d1 cube 
minus 2 d1 square minus d1 square plus 2 d1 okay x cube d cube remember this is uh, d cube y by dx cube okay now d1 is common to all of them so d1 square this actually adds up to minus 3 d1 so minus 3 d1 1 goes out plus d1 goes out to this again we can factorize it d1 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 square and 2 ones 2 so minus 2 minus 1 or we can write it as d1 times d1 minus 1 d1 minus 2 so now we can see a pattern right x d is equal to d1 x square d square is equal to d1 times d1 minus 1 and x cube d cube is equal to d1 times d1 minus 1 times d1 minus 2 yes so now we can substitute it in the equation we can substitute it okay let's see how all this works okay so here in all these cases we can write y y y dy y yes and um, we substitute it into the equation let's see how it works let's solve one problem 4x square d square y by d x square plus 4x dy by d x minus y equal to 4x square now let's write this in denotation 4x square d square plus 4x d minus 1 y is equal to 4x square and do you notice immediately you have x d and you have x square d square right right x d x square d square so we can directly do the substitutions so 4 d1 this is square uh, second derivative so this will be d1 times d1 minus 1 plus 4 x d is d1 minus 1 y is equal to now this is why we have to explicitly specify we are substituting it with what yes because of this x so here what we are uh, doing is we are substituting x with e to the power of z yes so x square will be e to the power of 2z okay now let's open it up 4d1 square minus 4d1 plus 4d1 minus 1 y is equal to 4e to the power of 2z these two get cancelled 4d1 square minus 1 y is equal to 4e to z and this we know this is a linear differential equation with constant coefficients so which means we can solve using that method so first we figure out the auxiliary equation 4m square minus 1 equal to 0 4m square equal to 1 m square is equal to 1 by 4 m is equal to plus or minus 1 by 2 yes so which means complementary function is c1 e to the power of x by 2 plus c2 times e to the power of minus x by 2 now particular integral would be 1 by f of d so 4 d1 square minus 1 times 4 e to the power of 2 z yes now 1 by 
फोर टू स्क्वेर माइनस वन फोर ई टू दि पवर ऑफ टू से बिकॉज ऑफ दिस माइनस वन वी कैंट जस्ट कैंसल फोर एंड फोर सो फोर ई टू दि पवर ऑफ टू जेड डिवाइडेड बाई टू टू फोर 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 सिक्सटीन माइनस वन इज फिफ्टीन सो पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल इज दिस सो विच मीन्स आर सोल्यूशन इज देर फोर वाई इज इक्वल टू सी वन e to the power of x by 2 plus c2 e to the power of minus x by 2 plus 4 by 15 e to the power of 2z now we want everything in terms of x so z is not allowed so first we simplify this and then we take care of that so this can be written as e to the power of x and 1 by 2 is nothing but square root plus C two. This whole thing goes down because of the po negative power, and e to the power of x square root plus four by fifteen. Now e to the power of two z is e to the power of z is x. So x square. This is the solution. Okay, great. Now, um, if in case of um, It's not just x's, right? The variable coefficient. It's a, it's, it is. Let's say a plus b x to the power of n. Let me write it in denotation itself. D n y. No, then in that case, I don't have to write y. Plus a plus b x n minus one. D n minus one. Plus A plus b x n minus two d n minus two and so on up to a n is equal to f of x. By the way, I missed writing y. This y is applicable to each of the terms. If it is in this form, what do we do? Straight forward. Just substitute a plus b x with z. Yes. Let's see. Let's take an example and do it. One plus x square b square y by d x square plus one plus x d y by d x plus y. Is equal to four cos log of one plus x. So what do we do? We just say uh, z is equal to one plus x. So dz by dx would be one. Now dy by dx would be in terms of z, it would be dy dx. dz dz now dz by dx is one so that means dy by dz so dy by dx is equal to dy by dz similarly d square y by d x square would be d by dx of dy by d x Which is equal to d by d x of d y by d z, which is equal to d square y by d z square times d z by d x. d z by d x is one, so d square y by d z square. So now let's take up this equation. So first term would be what? One plus x. So one plus x is x of z square and d square y by d z square plus z d y by d z plus y is equal to four cos of log of one plus x that is z. Okay, but z is still a variable, right? So we do one more substitution. So z is equal to e to the power of u, or in other words, u is equal to log of z. Yes. 
Now this we know. So Z and D would be equal to D1 and Z square D square would be D1 times D1 minus 1. Now here remember D1 is nothing but D by DU. D is equal to D by DZ. So you need to be careful when we you know change the letter that we are using. Okay now um, here what do we do now? Uh, this equation let us write it in D form. So Z square D square this is dy by dz okay so z square d square plus z d plus 1 y is equal to 4 cos of now uh, log z is u so cos u right now z square d square z square d square z d z d so we do the substitutions d1 times d1 minus 1 plus d1 plus 1 y is equal to 4 cos u let's open it up d1 square minus d1 plus d1 plus 1 y is equal to 4 cos u these two get cancelled d1 square plus 1 y is equal to cos u 4 okay now this is a form which we are familiar with yes so let's figure out the complementary function for that we first come out with the auxiliary equation so m square plus 1 equal to 0 m square is equal to minus 1 m is equal to plus or minus square root of minus 1 that is i okay now this is a conjugate pair of complex number so our cf would be c1 cos u plus c2 sin u okay so now let's figure out the particular integral this will be 1 by f of d that is d1 square plus 1 4 cos u yes and here you see we have this we know this 1 by d square plus a square is equal to x by 2a cos ax is equal to x by 2a sin ax yes so this is the same thing so 4 if we take it out it comes into this form and this would be x by 2a ax is u here so u by 2a a is 1 so um, 2a will be 2 sin u yes so 2 2 cancel out so our solution would be pi plus cf or cf plus pi so cf is c1 cos u plus c2 sin u plus 2u sin u now we have done substitutions twice so we have to retrace that so c1 cos u is log z so log z plus c2 sin log z okay plus 2 log of z and sin u is sin of log of z okay now uh, again we have to substitute back the value of z 
so c1 cos of log of 1 plus x plus c2 sine of uh, log of 1 plus x plus 2 log of 1 plus x times sine of log of 1 plus x now here if you notice this and this is common so we can take it out c1 cos of log of 1 plus x plus let's take this out sine of log of 1 plus x times uh, c2 plus 2 log 1 plus x okay so that is the solution it can become a little bit tricky so be careful about the steps i think that's enough for today bye for now